carburetor. I'm gonna show you how to rebuild it. They're not that complicated. So you're gonna need a couple of little things, flathead, a pair of pliers, an eight millimeter wrench for the emulsion tube. It is not called a jet holder. A little ratchet, Phillips pick, and a razor blade. The first thing that I always like to do, take off the vacuum cap. So once you remove the cap, you have your spray diaphragm slide. Be very careful about this diaphragm right here because you don't want it to rip. You want to be careful of those little O-rings and things. Most are attached to the diaphragm. Everything that came out of the top, put it in the top. Screws, spring, you start lining stuff up. Take a little pick, gently pull up like that. You don't want to tear this. That is seized and it's probably seized from the bottom side. Now we're going to take off the fuel bowl. That's not good gas. Gently. Oh yeah, that's why this bike wouldn't run. Bust a, a loose carburetor. It's good practice to change this little gasket that's around here. What they'll do is they'll flatten out. You see how it's flat across that top? Looks like the emulsion tube is caked with something. The main jet is completely clogged and there's the pilot there. It's also trashed. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be caked up and that's what's going to be keeping this slide from moving. Forward. We're going to pop off this emulsion tube and uh, main jet. That thing is stuck up in there. So out of the emulsion tube, it's pretty nasty. And then there's the pilot and it's pretty nasty, but that's okay. Now we need to get this off. You gotta be real gentle to this group. So I'm gonna get this float out of the way. You, you wanna make sure that your floats were not holding fuel. This is what they call a tunable float. That determines where this needle engages and disengages as the float moves up and down. And it controls and regulates the flow of fuel. That also has a seat right there and it's held in by that screw. There we go. And that's your screen for your float. And it looks like there may have been some trash if that hasn't been explicitly obvious. I can't get this diaphragm out of here. I'm gonna have to manhandle it a little bit more than likely because I need it to free up. Oh, there it goes. It's like glue. That's not good. This is about where I can get this particular carb down. Now, if you have a really bad carburetor like this, just soak it, shake it around a little bit, or get you a little brush and scrub it off. Carburetor cleaner and a little bit of time and uh, effort could uh, get this clean, but I have an ultrasonic. So if I have it, I'm gonna use it. got the parts out of the ultrasonic. This is why you need an ultrasonic. This is no scrubbing, no nothing. Just letting the ultrasonic do its thing. The shiny stuff in there is uh, Marvel mystery oil, but look here. This kit came with a new little screen, a seat, and a new needle. Stuffer up in there also came with a new screw. We're gonna take our float, the float, and that little flange right there is where the needle goes. Slide it over, just like that. Put it in there, and then we're gonna grab the pin, slip her on in there. Put the emulsion tube back in. Your main jet is gonna go back into the top of your emulsion tube, and then you give it just a little bit of a snug there. Just a little kiss, a little, just a little smooch. So then the pilot is gonna go in the pilot jet location. We're gonna do the same there. Just a little smooch. No need to over tighten any of those. We're gonna take the new gasket and then just very carefully I'm gonna put the fasteners in the bottom and double check make sure there's no gap if there's a gap your gasket's probably not sitting right now we're gonna put the vacuum cap in make sure whenever you put it in you put it in the right way but most of these carburetors they're only gonna go in one way when you put it in you start it in the top see there right up in there you want the needle to go in to there the spring back in the top of the slide on this vacuum cap this is an airport a port for air it goes right there you're gonna just put your uh your fasteners back on all we gotta do now is put the little idle adjustment deal back on and then put it back on the bike we have successfully rebuilt this carburetor 